Kirkwood and Kirkwood Court. The most important thing for our community is that we're fair and consistent and we treat everybody equally. Across the map, minorities are more likely to be pulled over, ticketed, and fined, including here in Iowa City. Since we began measuring this, we've always had disproportionality, and that's not just a problem here in Iowa City, but it's a nationwide problem. In order to tackle that problem, the Iowa City Police Department began tracking its traffic enforcement data back in 1999. So I did issue a citation for the speed for 76 and the 65. Where the stop is, what the stop was for, the makeup of the driver, male, female, race, ethnicity, and we keep track of all of that, including whether or not there was items on the backside, such as citations and searches and what was found. In 2006, Dr. Christopher Barnum, the director of the criminal justice program at St. Ambrose University, formed a partnership with ICPD to help track and analyze traffic stops. Dr. Barnum wanted to come up with a different way to determine how we were doing in our traffic stops, particularly in the area of disproportionality with minorities. To evaluate traffic stop demographics, the research team works to create a driver population benchmark from roadside observations and census data. Comparing that benchmark to the traffic stop data, initial results showed a sizable amount of disparity. Our data showed that you're twice as likely to be stopped if you're a minority driver, a person of color, and ticketed and have your car searched. By continuing to track the data and using it to address these issues, the 2018 study results showed some promising improvements. Where we've had success the last couple years is we are trending down now in all of those categories. To us, that equals success. Uh, with more work to do. The PD is addressing the issue through a three-prong approach, beginning with officer training. We make sure that the officers are constantly exposed to training in the areas of implicit bias, racial profiling, pretextual stops, bias-based policing, procedural justice. All of that is very important to make sure they're well trained in, in dealing with this problem. Another way is through community outreach and building partnerships with neighborhoods to build trust. And then the last one is deployment of resources. We're trying to disconnect the race crime association that often occurs out there, but also deploy our resources not by neighborhood, but by crime itself. And by dealing with crime and not entire neighborhoods, particularly those of color, means everything for our community. The 2018 results confirmed that the levels of disproportionality in stops and outcomes were trending lower. There's no doubt there's still a long ways to go, but Chief Matherly likes the direction the department is heading. Watching year after year us get better at that has sent a strong message to the community that we are doing something about this problem.